Burkina Faso's new military leader has spoken on television for the first time, promising a return to constitutional order when conditions are right. Lieutenant Colonel Paul Henri Sandiogo de Miba has emerged as leader of a junta that ousted President Rock Kabore, accusing him of failing to tackle rising militant violence. We must significantly reduce the areas under terrorist influence and the impact of violent extremism by giving the defence and security forces and the volunteers for homeland defence the will to fight and to go on the offensive with adequate means. Demiba first appeared on Burkinabe TV screens on Monday. He sat next to a captain reading the statement announcing that Kabore had been deposed. Before then, he had relatively little public profile. He's the author of a book titled West African Armies and Terrorism, Uncertain Responses, and, according to the publisher, studied at a military academy in Paris. On Thursday, he called on the international community to support the country so it could emerge quickly and resume its march towards development. I understand the legitimate doubts raised by this break in the normal functioning of the state. But I would like to reassure all friends of Burkina Faso that the country will continue to respect its international commitments, particularly with regard to the respect of human rights. Demiba was promoted in December to commander of Burkina Faso's third military region, which is responsible for security in the capital, Ouagadougou. That promotion came amid protests over surging violence and was part of a shake-up some analysts viewed as an effort by Kabore to shore up support in the military.